We all like to think of ourselves as logical and reasonable, right? But the fact is that we as human beings are driven by emotions and so many times we say things or we do things out of fear, out of being upset, out of frustration or anger that later we really regret, right? And so in this video I want to talk to you guys about how emotions impact our behavior on a daily basis and how you can leverage that in order to make better decisions. Now, before we dive into how positive emotions and positive thinking can actually help you build better skills in your life and improve all areas of your life, it's really important to understand first how negative emotions impact your decision making. So imagine for a second that you're one of our early ancestors, you're living hundreds of thousands of years ago and you're walking through the forest. All of a sudden, a tiger jumps right in front of your path. Now in that moment, your brain will register a negative emotion called fear, right? And what negative emotions like fear do is they program our brain to do a specific action. In this case, it's a fight or flight response. So most likely, what you're going to do is run away as fast as you can, right? Now in that very moment, there's a dozen other things you could be doing, right? You could be picking up berries off the floor, you could be dancing around the trees or singing your favorite song. But those things, those possibilities, don't even occur in your mind for even a millisecond because they would stop you from running away, right? And so our brains have adapted to respond to negative emotions by shutting off the rest of the world and narrowing your focus to only the thing that's going to help you survive. And so in former times, negative emotions used to be incredibly adaptive, right? Because they helped us run away from tigers and stay alive. But nowadays, it can oftentimes create problems because what negative emotions do is they narrow your mind. They shut out the rest of the world and narrow your mind on only a few limited action steps that are designed to help your survival. Now, the problem is that nowadays, um, that can oftentimes lead to problems because it makes us do things that aren't very smart, right? So just think about the last time you had an argument with your partner or your spouse, right? Chances are in that moment and maybe even all day long, you were consumed by anger, frustration, just, just you were just upset, right? And all you could think about was, I can't believe she did that, I can't believe he said that, right? All of these negative emotions and thoughts, right? And so what happens is you forget about what you're actually trying to accomplish. You forget about, oh, I want to actually create an amazing relationship. You forget about all the amazing times you had with that person. You forget about the fact that you wanted to go to the gym that night. And instead what you do is you snap at your coworkers for no reason. You end up sitting on a couch eating ice cream all night long, right? And so negative emotions, what they do is they narrow your possibilities to only a few things that are designed to aid your survival. Oftentimes to just give you some immediate gratification or maybe you just lash out against other people just for no reason, right? And so that's what negative emotions do. Now let's take a look at the opposite. Let's take a look at what positive emotions do to your decision making. And so a psychologist named Barbara Fredrickson, she coined a concept called the broaden and the build, sorry, build and broaden theory. And so basically what it means is that when we experience positive emotions, the exact opposite happens to when we experience negative emotions. So when we're upset, when we're angry, when we're frustrated, our choices and our possibilities are limited, right? But on the other hand, if we experience positive emotions of joy, of love, of happiness, of passion, our sense of possibilities, the possible action steps that we see in the world are broadened and we see more possible action steps, right? So just think about the last time that you um, set a new goal for yourself or did you create a better vision for your life or you uh, surprised your partner with a gift or did, did something really positive just out of nowhere, right? Chances are that happened when you were incredibly positive, right? You were joyous, you were excited, you were passionate, right? Because what positive emotions do is they, they let us invest in our future. You're not focused on on danger anymore. You're not focused on, on survival anymore, but instead you're focused on investing in your future to working out, to uh, eating right, and to uh, improving your relationships to build a better future for yourself. And so with that being said, I think it's obvious that it's incredibly important to be able to control your emotions, to increase positive emotions and at the same time decrease negative emotions. And so I want to give you guys three quick tips that are proven by research to help you um, do exactly that. And so here's number one, schedule playtime. Because we're all incredibly good at scheduling meetings and tasks and responsibilities, right? But we're not so great at taking time off to play and enjoy and just have fun, right? When it's, it's exactly those emotions of joy and passion and excitement that later drive our behavior. And with that, our, act, our actions and, and success, right? And so if you want to be happier and more successful in your life, simply 
taking some time off to to enjoy and and play and maybe play an instrument or read a good book or or pursue whatever hobbies you may have can have a huge impact on your life now here's tip number two a video on emotional control simply cannot go without meditation because meditation has been shown to be so incredibly powerful i mean it just has so many positive impacts on um your mood levels, it increases positive emotions, it decreases negative emotions, it improves your attention span, your willpower, your social connections. There's just so many incredible benefits that I simply cannot think of a single reason or excuse that would uh, allow you not to do it, For to just sit down for 10 minutes every morning and try to focus on your breath, try to calm down your mind, because so, it's just so incredibly powerful. Now here's tip number three. So in 2004, um, a research study was done where they took 90 participants and they asked them to write about an uh, intensely positive experience for three days in a row, right? And so then three months later, they followed up with them and, control, and, and compared them to control group. And so what they found was that uh, people that had written about intensely positive experiences three months earlier still experienced greater mood levels and better health. And so imagine doing that every single day. Instead of just doing once for three days, imagine doing that every single day for just two or three minutes, taking the time to think about what you're grateful for, think about what you're excited about in life. And doing that on a consistent basis is going to change your life for the better. And so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button below to get more videos like this on the mind psychology, mindset hacks that you can use to improve all areas of your life. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.